Hello, today I'm going to show you how to configure uh, and kind of go through a little bit about group policy, um, specifically configuring password security. So if you first open your server manager and then click local servers, go to tools, go to group policy management. And if you have to, you might have to click the right pointing arrow to collapse it down to your server and then click default. Uh, let me refresh this. Click uh, default domain policy. Go to settings. This is going to show you how to view what's currently, uh, what currently exists. So then click settings after you click default domain policy and if you go to windows settings click show on windows settings here in the middle pane and then click show on security settings and then click show on account policies account policies password policy click show and here it's going to give you what is currently active. Um, this is by default, or this will actually show, like I changed this from 7 to 8, so it'll show what exists basically. So at any rate, if you right click how to change this, if you right click on the default policy up here in the left pane, click edit. And here you're going to have to go to click the right pointing arrow by computer configuration if needed and then policies and windows settings oh, let me make this bigger and then So after Windows settings, go to security settings and account policies and then password policy. So this for an example, um, there's different things you can do. But um, so enforce password history, um, notice all of them. If you double click password length, for example, you can then just, you know, you can change uh, the, the uh, number of characters. So, yeah, pretty much this is all there is to it. Um, you know, review what you need to uh, change and uh, come in here and then change whether it be the age, um, you know, minimum, maximum age or what have you. That's, that's how you do it. So hopefully this helps. Thank you for watching.